What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you more than 40 new features and changes found in the brand new iPad OS 16 Beta 1. First up, the lock screen. So we have a slightly new look here on the lock screen. Now we don't get all of the customization options that we got with iOS 16, but we do have a new clock there with a thicker and different font along with a more translucent look to it. Now perhaps the biggest new feature in iPad OS 16 is called Stage Manager. So if you go into your control center here, you will see a new toggle is there by default, and that is the stage manager toggle. So let's go ahead and enable that, and you will notice no difference at first, but once you open up a window, you will see that we have these windows over here on the left-hand side, along with the ability to change the size of that current window. And as you can see here, you could also have groups over here. So you can see multiple applications in one specific group, and we can go into our files just like so, into the App Store. Again, we can change the size of the window if we want to as well, and add in another window if we would like to, and that's kind of just a group. And if you tap on these three dots in the middle of a page, you have three different options here. So you have the full screen, you have the plus right here, which will take it over here to basically tell you to add another window. So if you want to add in, let's just say we want to add in the calendar, you can see there, it will add that to our split view. If you go ahead and tap on the minus, you can see it will put that over away into its own separate window over here. And while you're in this mode, if you swipe down and haptic press on the stage manager icon in the control center, you will see you get this option here where you can show recent apps and dock, or you could hide one of them. So if I hide the dock right here, it will show recent apps and hide the dock. You could see it change in the background. You can see this is what it looks like. You could change between your different applications and there's no dock down here to take up space. And if you haptic press and turn on the dock, but take off the recent apps, you can see this is what it looks like. You just tap on the icon and the dock and it pulls that window up just like so. And it comes in from that left side over there. So it's a pretty cool way to multitask. I like it. I think it's really cool. I don't know if I'm going to use it super often, but I think it is pretty cool to have if you want to, you know, kind of organize your home screen and have different setups on your home screen as far as windowing goes. Now we also have quite a few changes with the Apple Pencil. So first off, let me just write something random. This is a test. I cannot write very good. So there we go, I just wrote out this is a test. And if I go ahead and select this, you can see we get a new option now to straighten. So you can see how it's crooked. If I tap on straighten, take a look at that. It straightens my text out. Also that UI that you just saw there with all of the white, that is new as well. It looks a lot cleaner than it did in iPad OS 15. And then down here in our little toolbar, you can see we have two new options next to the three dots. So we have this A right here, which allows us to add text or add a signature very easily. And then also we can add shapes very easily from this little sub menu as well. So I wanted to add a circle, I could do so just like so, and I could change all my options like you saw there, same with text or a signature. And then we have our three dots right here. If we go into pencil settings, we also have a new option for double tap to show ink attributes. So if we go back over here, and if I double tap on my pencil, you can see, let me go ahead and type, there you go, you can see it opens up the ink attributes channel right here where we can change the size of our marker and of course the opacity. You're also now able to add emojis via scribble. So I was not able to get this to work. I guess that just means my handwriting is bad but you can see there it converts it to a one. I could also try it again. Maybe I just need to do it bigger. Let's try it again. So we're just gonna do some eyes and we're gonna do a smiley. So you can see it converts it to some weird eight ball character like we're playing pool. So I can't get it to work, but you are now able to add emojis via Scribble. If you have an M1 iPad and you go to the display and brightness section and go all the way down to the bottom, you will see we have a new setting down there called reference mode. And it says, use this mode for color critical workflows in a controlled viewing environment. Turning on reference mode may affect battery life. So basically what this does is it calibrates the display that you're hooking up to to have the same you know, color palette, the same color levels as the iPad or vice versa. So if you hook this up to a Pro Display XDR or a Studio Display, you will see that it has the same colors. And you can also go to Fine Tune Calibration. You can see you can change that in here as well. Also in this section under Display and Display Zoom, you can see we have a new option for more space. So it shows you how that compares to Zoomed and Standard. Now keep in mind, if you do change it, you will have to reset your iPad 
but you can change that now that more space there is a new option ipad os 16 also includes a lot of changes in the files application and a lot of these we've been needing for a long time so the first thing you'll probably notice is that the search bar is now moved from the middle it like showed up real big right there to the top right we also have the name date and size right here which of course we can sort them by so that is nice to have right there without needing to go into this section and sorting them you'll also see that we have extensions so you can see the extension of every file if you go to the menu right here and go to view options which is also new by the way you can see we have the option to show all extensions you could also group everything by the kind date size or shared by and if we select an item right here you'll see we have a couple of new options as well so we have quick actions right here which allows us to mark up rotate create pdf convert image or remove background straight from here we also have show an in closing folder so it will take you to the folder where that file was originally at now not only can we rename files in the files application now which we've been able to do for a while but we can actually use that to change the extension so you can see there it's a dot png but i could change that to a dot jpeg right there if i wanted to and we get the same you know change file extension alert there like you see on mac os so there you go it's now converted to a jpeg image and when you select multiple files and haptic press you can see you get a new little animation and a new look you also have the badge over here that shows how many have been selected ipad os 16 also introduced virtual memory swap for m1 ipads so if you have an m1 ipad this is going to allow you to use the available storage as extra ram for demand workloads and games and things like that so if you have a 256 gigabyte ipad or higher you now get up to 16 gigabytes of ram compared to the 12 gigabytes that we got on ipad os 15. we now have a weather application on the ipad and it looks amazing in this full screen view right here we do also have our little sidebar right here if we tap on that it's a little bit laggy here in the beta but you can see all of our locations over here on the left we can also search for a city we have our precipitation map right here we have everything you would want in a weather app now on the ipad the podcast application also gets a brand new sidebar so now we don't have the bottom navigation menus it's now its own sidebar over here on the left makes the whole application look much better and more like mac os if you're a gamer you will really like ipad os 16 because we have metal 3 and metal fx upscaling which is going to help games perform even better and we do also have a redesigned game center so if you use game center that has been redesigned you're also now able to play together with share play so if the game you're playing is compatible with share play you are able to play together with other people ipad os 16 also now includes support for the nintendo switch controllers so both the joy con and the pro controllers are now supported in addition to the xbox and playstation controllers the home application has been completely redesigned so you can see here on the sidebar we now have this section for categories and the main interface here just looks so much better and so much cleaner we also have these three dots up here where we can see different home settings the edit view and reorder our sections and this menu now if you're big into focus modes like I am you will like this new feature so if you go to your focus settings and then go into one of your focus modes and then scroll down first off you can see this whole interface has been redesigned as well but if you go down to add focus filter this is a whole new section right here that allows you to set app filters and system filters and then also under focus status we can now turn our focus status off for a specific focus mode not just for all of them we also have some changes to the stocks application so if you go into stocks and go to my symbols right here you could see you could add a new watch list so you can now create multiple watch lists in the stocks application you could also see the earnings dates now for companies and you could add that straight to your calendar and then if you have the widget on your home screen if you have to press on that and go to edit widget you now have a new option to show more details and when you do that you could see it gives us two different columns now so we get more information in that widget there's also some nice changes in the contacts application so we now get the option to add a list which is basically like a folder inside of the contacts app so you can see i have this one here for test contacts and I can see everything in that specific list you do also get the option to detect duplicates and merge those duplicates just like you can 
in the photos application which i'll show you right now so it's the same as it was on ios if you go into our photos here you can see over here on the left hand side in the sidebar we have duplicates and when you go to this it will show you all your duplicates and you can merge them that way it keeps the highest quality and deletes the lowest quality version of that photo or video now below that you can see we have recently deleted which has a little lock next to it and that's because the hidden album and the recently deleted album are now locked with face id or a passcode and then easily my favorite change in photos is the lift subject from background feature so if you tap on a subject you can see here we have to hold a little bit you can see it will select the objects right there you can see it has this little white highlight that goes around it and you can copy it and you could take that or you could actually drag as well so if you go ahead right here you can see let me not push down all the way you can see i can drag now i can go out i can go into my notes or messages and i can drop those objects right there so pretty neat and then we also have these same features that we have in ios 16 like icloud shared photo library we have live text for video and we also have the option to copy and paste photo edits there are also some nice accessibility features so for example we have live captions right here which is in beta but this allows you to basically use on-device intelligence to display captions across all applications and also if somebody's in the room talking you will see the captions from that person so you can turn that on right there this also works in facetime so if you wanted to basically get captions from the person that's talking to you you can see that now straight from the facetime call and then in the magnifier application if you go to your settings right here and then go to settings you can see you have a new detection mode right there and we also have door detection and people detection along with image descriptions so the door detection is pretty neat you have all these different settings in here to change that as well apple also put a big emphasis on collaboration throughout ipad os so specifically in notes reminders presentations and safari with the group tabs you're able to collaborate just a lot easier and better now so there's also an application that Apple announced is coming later this year called Freeform and that's going to really ramp up the whole collaboration initiative it's basically like a big whiteboard which looks pretty neat I'll touch more on that later on in the year when it gets released so there you have it those are some new features and changes found in iPad OS 16 beta 1. now I'm sure there are going to be a lot more features and changes found in the coming months leading up to the final release in September and if you want to see those make sure to click that subscribe button down below because I will be covering more iPad OS features and if you enjoyed this video I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up as well but anyways guys thanks again for watching watching and I'll see you soon.